blow tonight for the Amazon Labor Union. Workers at a second facility on Staten Island voted down a bid to unionize. All right, that vote came earlier today. Sharon Crowley joins us now with where we go from here. Sharon. Yeah, Stephen Laurie, a reversal of fortune for organized labor hoping to grow membership among more Amazon workers in Staten Island. About 1,600 Amazon warehouse employees today rejecting a bid to unionize. Now, this comes after an historic union win with other Amazon employees last month. This is a war, so nothing's going to be easy. It's not going to be done overnight. Amazon workers who sort packages at a warehouse in Staten Island soundly rejecting an attempt to unionize. I'm a little upset, but this is only the beginning, and we will continue to fight. At the end of the day, Amazon can fire us at any day they want. At for any reason and like there's no one to help us, no one to protect us. Eric Milner is the union lawyer. It was disappointing. It, it, you know, it, it was, we obviously had hoped to, uh, to win. An Amazon spokesperson saying, quote, we look forward to continuing to work directly together as we strive to make every day better for our employees. The defeat for organized labor coming just one month after another much larger group of Amazon employees who work in the fulfillment center also in Staten Island voted for the union, an historic win that attracted national attention and support from Washington lawmakers like Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She said this last month. Staten Island was just the beginning. It was the first domino to fall. However, whether momentum is building remains to be seen. Amazon is already challenging the results of last month's pro-union vote. Princeton University politics professor Paul Freimer is an expert in labor and employment. People overreact to one win and they overreact to one loss. These are long standing battles and and to take on something like Amazon or to take on something like uh, Starbucks is going to it's going to take a while. and It's going to have both you know positives and negatives. But I would say overall the, the momentum is still there. Well, both parties have until next Monday to file objections. Amazon and the Amazon Labor Union appear poised to do just that. What that means, more legal fights are ahead.